they say road to glories will no longer be on YouTube. They say RTGs are too hard to do now. They say RTGs gotta be stopped in FIFA 13. It's impossible to do them. You know what I say to that? I say F that nonsense, son. That's a bunch of BS. I'm calling BS. They say Road 2 Glories are gonna be real hard to do now. It is gonna be harder. We can't play online single matches no more in Ultimate Team. Oh well, we gotta lose more. You can't really pick and match your opponents. You're gonna get matched against gold teams or silver teams. You just gotta go with it. It's more of a challenge. Personally, I think it's more exciting. So you're gonna start with a bronze team just playing bronze tournaments. Yeah, you're gonna get matched up against good bronze teams. It's time for you to show how good of a FIFA player you are. So I'm starting my road to glory. Today, it begins. I'll start with a bronze team, my starter pack. Then I'll get a decent bronze team. We'll build it together. Then we'll move on to a beast silver team. Y'all know what's next. We'll move on to an epic gold team. And once we got the gold team, most people would think the road to glory is over. Eh eh, it ain't over. Cause then we gotta get division one with the gold team. So they told me to pick a player, I picked Joe Hart. They give me this team. I'm not sure why EA gives me this team, but I gotta go play a game with it. And I go absolutely ham. I destroy the computer four nil. I pick Joe Hart because Joe Hart's a bit of a legend. So that's what I had to do. I had to go with Joe Hart. They say whichever player you pick would influence your starter pack. As you can see, the name of my team is going to well be Booyah. My initials are going to be RTG. And they weren't BSing. When the starter pack pops open, I get a lot of players from England. You got to take a look at it from in a second. But why do they make you play that game now in the beginning? Is EA just trying to make you jealous that you don't have good gold players? Are they trying to say, hey, buy a bunch of packs so you can have players like this? I don't really know. I didn't like that, though. But anyways, as you can see, loads of English players. After messing around with it for about 10 minutes, I finally decided this was the best way. I get 66 chemistry, chemistry, and I only have a 59 rating on my team. Then they give you 500 coins to start off. Now, I need your help in the comments down below, yeah? These stupid instructions are annoying. But anyways, in the comments down below, I get four free packs. I haven't opened them yet. And I'm not going to open them unless y'all give me the permission. Should I open these or should I do everything just by games? Now, all the teams I build, I'm going to do it just by winning games. But I have four free packs. They'll be the only packs I open if you guys give me permission to do so. It's up to y'all. Let me know down below. After sitting around for a while, I finally decided it's time to go play in a bronze tournament. Now, if I win this bronze tournament, I get a thousand coins and a bronze pack. I got to win. I think it's clutch that I win this tournament. Why? Because I get a bronze pack. I get to keep those players, probably get some contracts. I need that. The beginning of ultimate team is always the hardest when you don't have contracts. I get matched up against my opponent, my first opponent in FIFA 13 in my road to glory. This dude pretty much had a poo-poo team just like mine. Look, probably going to be a really, really good game. Time to see if Road to Glories can be done in FIFA 13. The game starts off in the fourth minute. I'm through. I should have scored, but the keeper would have saved. Unlucky. I got to go ham and get as many coins as I possibly can. 17 minutes in. Poor defending on my part. My opponent almost scored in the 17th minute, but my keeper came up big. 29th minute, the one, two, I pass it back to green and girl, look at that pace. Girl, look at that pace. Girl, look at that pace. It's in the back of the net. Green is a tank. There's always like one good player you get out of your starter packs and it looks like it's going to be green. Green looks like he's going to be the legend on my poo poo team. Beautiful left footed shot into the back of the net. It's one nil. We go forward to the 45th minute. What a tackle. And the passing here was just beautiful. I sliced right past that defense. Smash it. 2 0. We're cruising. I should have named my team like Going Ham. Hamburger. Booyah Going Ham. 
Nah, maybe I should just kept it booyah. We're up 2-0, and we go to halftime. Green got the first one in the 31st minute. Right after halftime, most people would have taken their foot off the gas pedal. Not me. I extend the ball here. 60th minute. One-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. I can't miss. The finesse. Son of a... You see, I just don't get the one-on-one -on -one finesse shots with the goalkeepers. I'm always missing those. Then in the 62nd minute, I'm through. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper. I extend the ball. The ref says the keeper touched that and he gave us a corner. I don't know if he touched it or not. Maybe the ref is a Booyah fan. But it's in the back of the net. It's 3-0. <sighs> this is good, right? We're about to win mad coins. Advance in the tournament. All we got to do is play smart football. My one, number one tip I would say to anybody when you start your ultimate team or you're playing with the bronze team. Wait, 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 wait for it. Again, I missed the finesse shot in front of the goalkeeper. But I got the lucky rebound and I make it 4-0. My advice to everybody when you're playing with the bronze team, do not try to control the ball, especially in your own half. Just one touch it. A second on the ball, like you're playing clubs. Yeah, you know how you play clubs, right? You pass, right when you get the ball, you pass again. One touch football, hold it for just one second. Don't try to control it because if you do, it's gonna be a disaster. And as you can see, my opponent got a bit mad at me, got a red card, he was frustrated. And then I score my fifth booyah of this game. It was epic the way I ended this game off. That fake shot destroyed him. And like I said, if you're playing with the bronze team, just pass it a lot. Try not to control the ball in your backfield because your guy might do a poor touch and you might be losing because of it. But we win 5-0. We're going to advance into the next round of this tournament. Road of Glory is going now. I get 652 coins from that game. I hope you guys are going to, well, I hope you guys will enjoy this Road of Glory. Remember in the comments down below to let me know about the packs, if I should open them. And uh, if you enjoyed this, if you think this Road of Glory is going to be epic, if you think you're going to like this series, why not drop a like on it? If we can uh, try to get this over 2,000 likes, if you, then I'll know if you guys like it or not. Because I have my offline series going, and now my online. So we're going to have both of these a day. Uh, sometimes this will be every other day, but the My Player is every single day. So... Uh, let me know if you like this series by hitting a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching. I'm your boy A9Skill. Subscribe if you enjoy the content. And I'm out of here. That's a booyah.